it's time to dish with D. That happens to be me. Today it's time for another cook with D. What is she cooking today? Glad you asked. She's making her own ranch dressing. Not only is she making her own ranch mix, she's making her own buttermilk, which I've done before in another ranch dressing, but this is kind of like a review and I'm making my own little, you know, the little package you get and you mix them. Well, I'm making my own little seasoning blend. So I thought I'd bring you along for the ride because why not? That's what I do. So buckle up people and let's get started on this homemade buttermilk ranch. I should preface that buttermilk ranch, packet ranch, that's a lot. This, let's, come on. These are the spices we're going to use in no specific order. Dill weed, chives, Parsley, looks like garlic, Trader Joe's onion salt, Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute, some cultured butter, buttermilk powder, and some chipotle seasoning. All right, let's get started. Now, mind you, I am winging this, so we might have to make some adjustments. All right, I'm going to start with the buttermilk. I'm going to start with one tablespoon because I could always put more back in. And on the points, this is where the points come from, is this powdered buttermilk. And this is for the dry dressing. Remember, we're going to make our own homemade buttermilk to go in the mix. All right, let's do what I want. I want to do, I'm going to start off with a quarter of a teaspoon of each and see how it goes. Like I said, I could always add, but I can never take out. Quarter of dill. Quarter of chives. Yeah, we'll do half a chives. I like chives. And I grow fresh chives. We grow wild in my in my box, so I would definitely probably be using fresh ones when the season comes. I'm gonna do a whole teaspoon of parsley because I don't know. I don't think parsley really adds flavor-wise that terribly too much. Garlic powder. Quarter teaspoon. And I am using the Trader Joe's onion salt. It's my favorite. And it's also going to be our salty element. So I'm not going to add any additional salt because I have, I think that should be fine. You can always put salt in. You can never take salt out. 21 seasoning salute because this stuff smells awesome. If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, uh, hmm, but I wouldn't know what to tell you. But um, you can use a Mrs. Dash in place of the 21 seasoning salute. That would totally work. And let me give it a stir. Smells good to me. And I'm actually just gonna sprinkle the chipotle in because I don't really want that much. Because I don't think, I don't want it to be overpowering with chipotle. Okay. There we have our base. Now we're going to make our buttermilk. Let me grab the milk and I'll be right back. All right, now we're going to make the buttermilk. Right here I have a half a cup of 1% milk in my bowl. And here I have two tablespoons of white distilled vinegar. You know the white distilled vinegar, the one you clean your coffee pot with. Yes, the big, big one. That's the one we use. Pour that into your milk and give it a zhuzh. Mix, 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 mix. All right, we're gonna let that sit here for about five minutes and let the curds form and I will show you what it looks like before we put it in the bowl. Buttermilk, you can see it's all, see the curds in there? That's exactly what you want. There you go. With just milk you have in your cabinet. And you make as much or as little as you like. All right, let's assemble this dressing. 
I use a little mason jar. First, I'm going to put in the homemade buttermilk. And then we're going to place in our homemade ranch powder. I probably should have used a funnel, that probably would have been easier. Handy little whisk and get that all mixed in because you don't want any lumps coming from the mix into your dressing. Okay, light mayo. I only use a tablespoon just to give it, you know, hopefully it adds a little something. I'm really not quite sure it does, but you know. and a half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Now you could substitute um, sour cream, I would think, if you wanted. I adore Greek yogurt, I know some people don't like it. I definitely recommend that you drain your Greek yogurt a little bit because it will add a little bit more water to your dressing and we don't like that. Because we want a, you know, a nice little thick, as we, we can get ranch. So I have that on. And here comes the fun part. Let's get all those guys into the pool. Let's give her a good shake. You could probably double this if you wanted. I'm just, like I said, this is my first time trying all this stuff, so I'm just doing with a. Okay, I'm going to let it sit in the fridge for about an hour. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to see if it needs to be a little bit thick and I might increase the powdered buttermilk and maybe a few of the spices. We'll see. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and then I'm going to give it a taste and uh, we'll see how it looks. I'm hopeful, but we never know. All right. I have my little crudite platter. I have some pretzels, some sugar snap peas, and some baby carrots. Here is our ranch. It's been sitting in the refrigerator for about an hour. It's thickened up beautifully. Actually, better than I thought it would. Because like I said, this is the first time I am using my own ranch powder mix. So watch the pour. Look at that. There we go. And I'm going to garnish it with a little chives. Because in my world, you can never have enough chives. Hmm, they don't care about the holes. So I'm just going to pop you out. And a little extra chipotle, only because I like a little extra spicy. But again, if you don't like chipotle, you don't have to put it in. But I wanted a little bit of extra. Just a little dash will do me. All right. Let me come down. Maybe I should put this up. Let's see if we get you up. Here we go. Here we are. Hi. Not my first rodeo making ranch, but it's my first rodeo making my own ranch powder. Mmm, coats my carrot nice. Little kick, not too much. Man, this is really good. Mmm. It's different. We could change it up. I apologize for all the eating. But wow. I'm weird. I like to dunk these little guys in here. Mmm. I like it. 
I really like it. Like I said, you could change up, add or subtract different herbs that you like. I just have these ones I had around. I do like the 21 Seasoning Salute though. It really added a little zip. And a Chipotle, it's like a Chipotle Ranch. Only thing I'd say is maybe a little bit more salt. But winner winner. Ranch dip dinner. It's really good, and you know what's in it? Who you put it in? Salt was low. Mm. This would be the same points on all three plans once I go and figure it out. I think I have to count the powdered buttermilk has points, the herbs don't, the tablespoon of mayo, and the milk. The milk is a half a cup for two points. A whole cup is four points, the one percent. So I have to count that. But this amount of dip, it'd be zero. That's all I need to know. Because all I have in my salad would probably be zero. Mmm. So the whole entire jar would probably be two for the powder. I'm not sure about the mayo. And two for the milk to so be four. Yeah. The whole jar would probably be like eight points or something. Like seriously. Who's going to eat all of this at once? Not me. I'll come back with the points. Let me finish eating. All right. This whole jar is five smart points. It's one for the ranch, the powdered, not ranch, one for the powdered buttermilk. Two for the mayo, two for the half a cup of milk. Yes. So the whole jar is five smart points. So when I go to use it, unless I'm eating, and I'm not eating that much, you know, you saw how much I put in the bowl for dip. And if I put some on a salad, it wouldn't be much more than that. I, I personally wouldn't count it, but if you feel the need to count it, then by jolly, you can give it a point. But yeah. I think it's pretty good. You definitely can change your seasonings up. You could put a little bit more, a little bit less. See what you have on hand. That's happened to be what I had on hand. And I think it's pretty good. And I really believe that this is what really threw it over the top, the Chipotle. You don't need a lot. Like I said, you could always add it, not take it out. So I say sprinkle a little bit. And then when you go and put it in your little bowl, sprinkle a little bit on top. All right, that's it for me today. Like I said, five points on the blue plan and the purple plan. And the green, you'd have to count the yogurt. So whatever a half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt would be. And I will have that listed on my, my blog. The recipe blog that I have at the description box, go to it. It'll be listed there for the points for the green plan as well. I am on blue. All right, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know if you want to try it let me know and like i said it's fun to play with our stuff it's fun to create our own stuff and we know what's in it and we can control the points that's how we work the system all right if you know anybody that could would love to see this recipe please, please share it if you haven't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button and uh we will cook with d another day not sure what she's making next. There's a collab coming out next week, but who knows if I'll be up, have something up before then because when the mood strikes me, you get lucky.